Hi everybody! Today we're going to be metal detecting on an old Oregon Trail cutoff road that passes through our property. And uh, right here where I'm standing, uh, the road we use goes right over the top of it and then on out that point. And then it goes down a canyon and crosses a river. And there is the beautiful Mount Hood and they would have had to go either cross the Cascades on the Barlow Trail or over the, to the Dalles and float down the Columbia so to get to the, to get to the Willamette Valley. Hard work back then with all this flat land right here. You could imagine maybe people got off and walked, stretched their legs, maybe they dropped something. Hopefully, I find something cool, not just a bunch of bullet shells. So I'm going to walk over this way, and I'll show you the spot where you can actually see the ruts left that have been untouched by us. Well, just looking on this road, I found this little chip. I don't know if this is Native American or not. I don't see anything on it that would say so. But that reminds me, I could find stuff like that out here. Right over there on that road, my sister found a really cool, uh, small, fine arrowhead back when we were kids, when we were riding our bikes out here. So they're out here. Well, I thought I'd be away from the nails today, but I found this little tiny round nail right here on the surface. Okay, I'm digging something up and it says it's really deep and there's a rock down there. So kind of wondering if it's under the rock. So I'll show you if I find it. Well, I just dug this up off the surface, and that other hole, uh, I think there must be some mineral in the soil, or in that rock. Uh, my uh, pinpointer wasn't picking up anything, and neither was my t detector at some point, so that was weird. All right, just found a 22 shell. Well, I just dug this up in the road. It tests, it's, uh, rings up an 81 on the AT Pro, is this um, one of those things for the tire. I'm going to brush it off and see what it looks like. So does this look like a valve stem cover for an old vehicle? Is that what they call it? Um, because this would be a good spot to lose it right here on this old road, especially if somebody drove through here when it was during a wet time and got stuck. Who did that belong to? Was that granddad? Well, I found this little thing. Um, it just kind of looks like a piece of wire or nail. It's all by itself though. You guys, I just got a signal right underneath that poop. Now I'm thinking that might be bobcat poop. There's another one back down the trail about 20 feet, and then look what I saw. Look at this. It's a track. That looks like a cat track to me. Oh my word. The bobcat has been out here. So under that bobcat poop, about an inch or two, was this little nail. So nothing much there, but that is so funny. Well, I just dug up part of what it looks like a square nail. I don't see a head on it. It's kind of flat. Well, I found this thing. Um, it was kind of underneath this rock. And then right beside this rock and another rock, it was in there. Hmm, I wonder what this was for. A lot of farming going on out this direction. Well, an inch or two down, guess what I found? Yep, even out here. I just spotted my first yellow bell. Uh, let's go look at it. The first yellow bell of spring. Well, I found this piece of metal and a uh, couple of uh, newer type of nails. I've been finding a lot of these 
long nails, maybe four or five. So right there, I got the nail, and over there, a surface find. Somebody's out here hunting. I know who. More animal poop. Well, this old nail looks really old. Look how um, rectangular that is. Would that be a horseshoe nail? Hmm. Just a couple inches down. All right, so the ruts to the Oregon Trail cut off are right there. And uh, we've always, uh, information passed down said it went right between those two buildings down there, right um, to the north of the barn, south of the house. So that's the original trail from a cutoff of the Oregon Trail. Well, here's a rotting balloon that flew over from the Willamette Valley somewhere. Find a lot of those at these along the roads and in our fields. This is too far gone to even try to pick up. Well, I just got myself a tiny little bouquet of yellow bells and I'm heading back to the house now and I'll show you what I found. Well, these are the finds I had today. Uh, I was digging up everything that made a sound, so I think these nails are pretty new and they must have just like rattled off the back of a pickup or something. <laughs> The, this thing, I don't know what it is. And then, um, this is a neat square nail. This is part of a, looks like a square nail, and then that might be also. And then this, is that a Model T valve cover? Or some other vehicle? Let me know, because I'm really curious. So... Probably dad did that or one of his buddies. Well, that's all for now. Let's take a quick review of what the 1K prizes are. All right, for first prize, you will get this Walking Liberty coin, Gypsy Jewels brand new book that I just read today, a pen, and you may choose either a hat, a mug, or a shirt, a t-shirt. The t-shirts, I have three extra larges, one 2XL and one large. So basically it's uh, whoever emails me first will get to choose um, what they want. Now second place, we'll get this book written by C.L. Benoit of B3 Relic Recovery. And I gave a actually gave a review of that in one of my previous videos and a silver dime and a pen and you may choose one of the items t-shirt hat or mug third place you get three of these silver bars uh, I think it's two grams total a pen and one of the merch items fourth place silver dime fifth place silver Canadian dime and an item of merch so all right we are going to pick our five winners so let's get the YouTube comments the amount of unique comments is 69 Thank you everybody for joining the contest. And let's see who gets first place. <laughs> Zed's place, congratulations. So you are first place, awesome. We're going to pick another winner for second place. I don't know who that is. 
already a winner, SC84. This makes me wonder if I didn't graduate from high school with this person. <laughs> okay, let's do pick another winner for third place. Bold Lion, third place. All right, let's pick a number, another winner for fourth place. KCMD, woohoo! Congratulations. And Let's pick the last winner for fifth place. Iron Antler, woohoo! All right, so you guys send me an email with your mailing information and uh, I'll get your prizes to you. Now, I'm not, Bold Lion, I'm, are you in the United States or are you, do you live elsewhere? Uh, please let me know. Um, if you're out of the country, I can't send you all the goodies, but I can send you the coin. So let me know where you live and uh, get me your email. My email is in the description and it's also in my about section. So please email me um, which merch you want. You can have the hat, the cup, or the t-shirt. And if you want the t-shirt, let me know what size. All right. Thanks so much, you guys, for participating. GoPro turn off. Oh. I'd like to thank everybody who watches my videos for getting me over 1K subscribers, and especially those of you on the iDig Friday crew and Juice for organizing it. If I reach 2,000 subscribers, I'll have another giveaway. Join me in this video at the end to go on my adventure when I metal detected the ruts of the Oregon Trail cutoff. Don't forget to smash that like button, and if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.